Now that we've completed the configuration of the module and the SST software, uh, we're going to move over to RS Logics and using the add-on profiles, we'll see that uh, it's very quick and very easy to set up the module. So we need to add it to our I.O. configuration. So I'll select new module. And Molex, I'm going to select the ESR2 module. And give it a name. Uh, we are in slot 2, so that's good. Uh, everything else can stay at the default. And that will create some uh, uh, controller tags for us. Uh, the input and the output and status. And that's really all we need to do to, uh, to get it set up. So we're now going to move to uh, downloading it to the processor. Okay, so now the modules are set up in Logix. Um, the cyclic functions are running on the module, uh, so we now should be able to write data uh, in our output tag and then uh, read it back uh, from that location in the slave in the, uh, uh, in the input tags. Uh, so we'll go to our outputs, and we'll write a value. And if we look into our inputs, uh, we'll see the 23. We'll go back to the output. And we're updating um, in the device. So it's that easy to set up um, the configuration for our ESR2 module. Uh, there are some advanced techniques we'll do in another video, uh, but that concludes the setup for this version.